Hello everybody, uh, welcome to another episode and again like I told you uh, on Tuesday I was going to do an actual scheme based um, video this time and we're going to do it on our special teams that I installed last year. Um, our version of the swinging gate using a pod style system and um, it worked out really well for us. We ran, I mean there's a basic four fakes that I'll go over and we name it after basically military style so we call this our Marines formation and then we do everything based off of calls and the first four I'll go over with everybody is just Alpha, Beta, Charlie, and Foxtrot and they're very simple, very easy. Um, I called them from the sideline last year. Uh, this year we're hoping where we get to where our queue can actually read the defense and make the call themselves. So that's kind of our goal this year is to teach our quarterback to actually make that read on their own. So a couple things with this is we didn't bring this out until week, uh, week, basically week five for us. We brought it out so that way our first league team um, would have to prepare for it. Because again, when I was a defensive coach, our head coach would always say, you know what, we gotta spend time on this. We gotta make sure our kids understand it. And that's kind of the nice thing. What this takes us literally one or two practices to put this in, and it's gonna take a team a week to figure out how they're gonna line up against it. Even though in reality, by the time we did this, we literally had one or two plays installed. The team still has to figure out, okay, we got four pods. So what I mean by pods is, you have a pod here, you have a pod here, there's one here, and then there's one here. So we have four mini formations inside of this. So what that means is we're trying to take a look at and see what the defense is gonna do. So what we tend to look at for us is how are they gonna to adjust to this? So, I mean, obviously you have a corner right there and that's, you know, that's gonna be the one-on-one -on -one matchup depending on how they line up. Um, we have a play for that. Obviously you have three individuals right here. We have two linemen and our Z receiver. So obviously they gotta at least, at least give you two guys to attack this. You have three here. So again, same idea. You gotta give at least three to that front. And then we're sitting with four over here. Usually what we got was something to that nature. So depending on what they do, and then we might get a middle backer here, might get another backer there. So, I mean, at the same time, that's what we're kind of looking at, and we're trying to figure out how many guys are gonna put on the line, how many guys they put off the line. And then probably one more guy there. So that's kind of essentially what we would look at, and that's if they were able to line up perfect against it. They'd want to try and match us up, but what we got a lot of, which is what helped us out <clears throat> tremendously, is we got a lot of kind of like splitting the difference. So what I mean by that is we got a lot of more of like backers here, a backer here, a guy there, and then we ended up with like two lined up with another one back here, one guy kind of in the middle with a guy back. So and then another guy out here to give them kind of that 11 look, kind of straight out front. And there might have been one more guy kind of back here. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay. Yeah. So that was essentially what most people gave us, and we just played games with it. So, for example, the first one I'm going to go over is Alpha, and this one works out really well even when they're in something like this. So what the, the center's gonna do, or a long snapper, he's gonna line up with one foot back automatically. Because if we call alpha, all that is is one of those quick scoop passes straight to our E receiver right here. And all he's gonna do is barrel down. These guys are gonna pinch hard right down the center and he's just gonna run right through the gap. So. By doing that, he can't get there in time. He's just barrel rolling. We scored on that first play against our elite team when we put that out there. That was the easy score for us. Um, that was our alpha play. Again, just a simple scoop to the E, and he just barrel rolls, barrel rolls his way in. Now, originally we started off with four fakes, 
by the end of the year, I had about nine fakes out of this and I'm still kind of adding to it because there's so many things we can do um, with it. But as far as basic four plays we came up with, um, slash I kind of stole and kind of added, um, we came with Alpha, which is the first one I just showed you. So again, we're right here. He's going to take that side, that side angle and scoop, basically scoop toss it, scoop snap it as fast as he can. And these guys are about just right outside the hash. These guys are on the hash. He's basically kind of up top or on the numbers because we'll get to that one here in a second. But that one's really predicated on your best receiver versus hopefully their worst corner. Um, so keeping that in mind as well. But at the same time, it's a quick scoop pass, and then we're barrel rolling right down the center of it. They're just wedge blocking, and he's trying to pick a hole and get there. And it works out really well. It's really hard to defend, because again, now if they start cheating, so the next week, what we, uh, we're debating on running is what we would call beta. And beta, how that ends up working is for us, Beta is a good one if they really don't put a lot of stock into this. So if they got their end, a tackle, a tackle, and an end, if that's how they put it, they're playing a four-man front, which is what we saw a lot of, which was four-man fronts, and then could be the corner out here because that's technically a, wide, technically a receiver. That's our tight end type technically right there. So if they tend to put more on this and they put a backer here, and then they have backer, backer, um, one, two, three, four. and then if they put, well, this guy actually more along the lines, was a safety more along the lines for us. Um, so, and then a backer right here. That's pretty much what we got a lot of. What we did here is one of two things. The center, we would call, this was what we call beta, and he would block first threat, Go with the Steeler offense. <laughs> <laughs> he would block the first threat, and then uh, what would happen from there is our kicker is going to act like he's going to block this linebacker, and obviously he's going to pinch down hard inside. He's going to pinch down hard inside. He's going to whiff block on purpose and set up our quarterback's going to take one, two, and then throw it right here to where those backers work. So it's essentially just a quick option now the, the quarterback does have the option to run it if for whatever reason these two guys don't come off the line as fast but what we noticed is everyone took a lot of stock the next week into this so they put four guys over here they put one guy two guys back we were able to score on this as well it worked out really nice for us so again our kicker runs up acts like he's gonna block pretends to miss and then just sets up right behind the backer it's literally a one two jump and toss it's a jump pass legitimately he just takes a quick jump tosses it over the top right to the goal post area so if this is your back of your end zone he's tossing it literally to the back pylon right back there so and i mean it's a jump pass and he's giving the kicker time to either catch it here or if he's got to drop back and sell back he can catch it back there so it works out really nice that's beta for us Again, doing things off in some military calls because it makes it easier on the sideline to yell alpha, alpha, beta, beta, and the defense doesn't know anything from anything on that point. What alpha, beta, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot. I mean, those are the ones that we ran a lot um, last year. And uh, that's kind of how, again, it works out as a call that I did from the sideline. Hopefully this year our quarterback will be able to make the call. We'll see how it goes with all this COVID stuff. We'll see how everything kind of pans out, but uh, we'll see how it works. Um, the next one we have is Delta, or not Delta, I'm sorry, uh, Charlie. So we got Alpha, Beta, Charlie, and then Foxtrot. I'm not gonna show you Echo or Delta because those ones actually came later. The four basic ones we had in was Alpha, Beta, Charlie, Foxtrot. Charlie is just as simple as it gets. We're gonna get a uh, shotgun snap to the quarterback. He's gonna just basically pass protect. He's gonna pass protect. And it's gonna be a quick dump right to the Z. Same thing. Attack first threat, attack first threat, get up in the hole and score. Um, we actually did not end up running Charlie at all last year. And surprisingly enough, we didn't end up running Foxtrot either. 
Um, we ended up running Alpha, Beta, um, Echo, and Delta. Um, and maybe on a second piece I'll show you what Echo and Delta is, but I want to do a short one on our basic four so that we all kind of understand how we do this. And then I'll show you how we go into a regular field goal as well. But um, that's Charlie. We hadn't run that yet because they really didn't give us the numbers we liked. If it was like this, these are numbers we like because again, the Corvac is basically doing like a quick sprint out and it's just a quick dump. So as he does that sprint out, we're getting that backer to come up. So he's getting double teamed basically. And all he's doing is making sure he steps down outside, keeps him outside. So then that way we have that ability to get up into that gap. So works out really nice. Um, again, we never got the numbers for this. They usually kept three over here. This backer was tight, was a lot tighter than uh, what I'm drawing up right there. Every time we wanted to run Charlie, we had more of that look. And it just didn't feel right when him being so close where he could possibly get past our, ta our offensive lineman and get there. So Charlie just never panned out really well for us as far as numbers are concerned. I didn't like the angles. I didn't like the leverage. I didn't feel like we had it. So we didn't run it last year. Um, like I said, we ran Alpha, we ran Beta, and we ran Delta and Echo. Um, Foxtrot. Foxtrot is as simple as it gets. Um, Foxtrot is basically... This is your best receiver. This is their worst corner. It's an option route. I mean, if he's backed off, get the slant. If this corner is ended up, if he's backed off back here, run the slant. If he's up on him, get that quick release and get to the pylon. So, um, never got a chance to run that either just because I didn't like the leverage. Because like I said, sometimes that backer was more here. And every time I wanted to run Foxtrot, sometimes this we had more of this look, where there was a backer, or that might have been another safety out there. So I really didn't like that look very much at all. So that's why Beta ended up being it, and Alpha ended up being it for the most part for us. But Foxtrot, again, if you got a really stud receiver and that corner is not very good, and they're giving you the, the leverage and the number scheme, and obviously, go for it, do what you're gonna do what you gotta do. So um, that's kind of our basic premise. And then if we really don't like anything, or you know, if we're actually up, then all we do is we bring everybody in. So and we run so there's our long snapper. We go guard, guard, tackle, H, and then um, essentially guard and then this is our X and that's our E and then again we have our uh, QB and our kicker and our Z so that would be our basic kick uh, field goal that is our basic field goal kick um, and our fire out of that if it's a bad snap very simple. Um, he's getting to the pylon now. He's running a little bit more of a uh, he's running more of a drag that's deeper. He's running all the way to the back of the end zone, so it's basically almost like it turns into a flood. And the Z stops right here at the at the uh, field goal post. So we have the H getting directly to the pylon. We have the X basically running to the end zone, and then. And then we have our uh, E basically running to the back of the end zone and our Z sitting right back. So we have four guys out in a route if we ever have to run fire. So that's our basic premise. That's our swinging gate. It's a pod formation and we have several more uh, fakes out of it. Um, maybe in a later video I'll share those as well. But again, comment below, subscribe. Next Tuesday will be another episode of the journey to becoming a head football coach. Um, what happened with my staff and how we move forward and how we got things rolling. So I appreciate the support. I just appreciate the comments. Um, have a great day and I'll see you real soon.